So I'm gonna show you how I bed level the uh, Wee Baby and also do sea offset calibration. First of all, I wanna heat up the muscle and the bed. So I'm just going 70 on the bed and uh, let's say 205 on the muscle. This is uh, only necessary for the C offset to be perfect, but the thing is that we have some uh, we have some plastic uh, on the nozzle we want to get rid of, so that's uh, why I heat it up for bed leveling as well. And I want a piece of paper. You can use any paper. I'm using a receipt here. The thinner, the better, I think. But you can use a normal A4 paper as well, I think. So I'm just gonna wait for the nozzle to uh, heat up so we can get rid of the plastic. And then we're gonna do a home. So I'm just gonna home the printer now. You can do a G28 if you connect to the computer with a USB or uh, yeah this is uh, the duet so you can do it by Wi-Fi as well or you can do it from the display of course if you have a SKR with a TFT there we go and um, the thing is that uh, since the probe is uh, offset from the nozzle we want to move we want to move the nozzle to where the probe was probing so we can do that uh, manually or i can do it uh, from the display so i'm going 20 uh, plus in the x direction and uh, 20 negative in the y direction then the nozzle should be at about where the probe was and uh, we can do uh, C of sets first um, I'm gonna put a paper under and we are going to go down or well we are raising the bed actually so I'm just gonna go, if you have a look now, we can see that our C is 595. So I could do uh, go to zero, you can do G1 set zero, but since we are unsure, we don't, we don't want to crash. So I'm just gonna go down now five. Now we are at C 0.95. And of course, the paper is loose. And then we can move down slowly. 0.5 and check. Still loose, which is good. Then we can do even smaller increments. So I'm going to do C. gonna just uh, make sure I close the paper we are at C 0 0.25 now still loose C 0 15 it should still be loose because I already calibrated mine now we are actually close okay which means I need to this is actually perfect. It's a little bit tight, the paper, but you, you should be able to move it. Um, which means my C offset is a little bit off. So the way we adjust that, you can do it from the display as well. If you go to the TFT, if you have an SKR with a TFT, you go to the display and you do this there. I'm just going to raise the nozzle now or lower the bed. Because I know now I'm off 0.15.
and um, yeah, so you can do it from um, if you connect to the SKR with um, a USB, you can do uh, M8851, M851, and then you adjust your C offset. Just check what it was, and then you uh, you subtract uh, uh, 0.15. So from the duet. I do this from, we can do it from the console as well, but I need to go into uh, my system. There we go. My system. And I'm gonna go to my config. And I'm gonna adjust the config. C probe, you can see that my C probe was 1.1. And the RepRap firmware is a little bit different from the on the Marlin, so they actually use positive numbers, not negative, which means I need to add uh, 0.15, which leaves us at uh, 1.25, and then I save it, and then I reboot. This is a little bit different on the SKR. Uh, I'm not able to show you that now, but uh, you should do uh, M851 and uh, adjust the con the, um, the C offset. It's a negative number on the Marlin. So now we rebooted. I'm gonna just gonna heat the bed again and the nozzle. And I'm gonna do home all. I put the paper under again, and then I can do um, G1 C0 to check. It's actually a little bit tight. Uh, I think actually I went the wrong way. I'm gonna do increments now. Bed a little bit down. There you go. There's loose. So now it's perfect. So I need to go in and adjust again. It's been a long time since I've been done this, so I might have actually adjusted the wrong way. Adjust one more time. We can also use baby stepping if we see that we are a little bit off, which might happen when you do, let's say you print pet G at uh, maybe 90 on the bed. Different uh, temperatures on the bed might uh, do different C offsets, but that's why we have uh, baby stepping. So I'm just gonna reboot. I'm gonna heat the bed again and the nozzle. So you heat the nozzle to where you usually print at, and I'm doing 70 on the bed because it's like, uh, yeah, in between. So I'm gonna hold. I actually forgot to move the nozzle to uh, the probing point, so let me do that. And put the paper under. And do C0. Yeah, I think that's fine there. So just lower the bed a little bit again, and then we can go over to adjusting um, our uh, leveling our bed, uh, three point leveling. So I'm, doing, I'm gonna do one point over here, where the fixed point first, and then I'm gonna adjust the corners uh, according to that. We do not need a heated bed to do this, but uh, it doesn't hurt to uh, to have a heated bed either. Uh, anyway, make sure that you don't have anything under your nozzle. So I'm gonna turn off the motors. So that's M84. So now the motors are turned off, which means I can move. Move the, the carrier. So I'm just gonna place that in the middle over the center of the the fixed bed rest and I'm gonna just check 
that we are okay over here. So I'm going down to C0. Just be careful so we don't crash. So which means I must go down negative five. And it's perfect. So I'm gonna go up five. And then I'm gonna move the carrier over to this corner. Just somewhere over the corner, it's not so important. And I'm gonna go negative five. I'm gonna check. So we are a little bit off over here. It's too loose, which means I must uh, adjust the corner a little bit. So I'm doing the thumb screws until the paper takes. So there it is, perfect. Let me go up five and over to this corner. And negative five. It's a little bit tight. Let me go down here. Now it starts to move. A little bit tight. Actually, I have a macro for doing this on the RepRap firmware, but uh, this method also works on the SKR. So it's okay there. We're gonna do one more round. I'm just gonna go up again. Just over to check this point one more time. No negative five. It's perfect. Raise five. Over to this point. And then negative five. It's a little, little bit loose still. It's very not much to you should turn the thumb screws. So now it is perfect. Well, let's check this corner again. Yeah, it's a little bit, little bit tight. Sometimes it might want to go um, up and down. After adjusting, just trying to find the right spot. Yeah, that's uh, nice. Let's check this corner one more time. It's still a little bit loose over here. Let's go up and down. Make sure you don't crush. Yeah, now it is good. Over there. Just gonna do one more check over here. It's important that you get this uh, right. Yeah, now it's great. I'm gonna do a homing one more time. Home wall. Just gonna check my C offset one more time. So I'm going to C0. Yeah. That's a little bit tight, but that's, that's okay. So that's the way I do C offset and uh, three point bed leveling on the Wii Baby. And this should work also for the Wii King and uh, any other printer, really.
So I hope that explains it. I'm not able to show, show this from the display on the SKR since I have a Duo to install on this one, but uh, yeah. Um, you can find the C offset uh, on the TFT. Uh, so you're able to do everything from there as well. Uh, just remember to save everything with M500 or from the display store settings. Uh, any comments, any questions, uh, leave them down below and uh, have a good one. See you soon.